welcome VR lovers and SideQuest fans. My name is Tony and today I go through a step-by-step -step on how to install Half-Life onto your Oculus Quest with all the high definition textures and models. If you're unfamiliar with what side quest or side loading is, this tutorial doesn't cover that and you want to brush up on those things before you go into this tutorial here. You can check out the link to a good tutorial in the description of this video below. So if you're unfamiliar with side quest and side loading, make sure you check that out first. If you find this video useful, it would really help me out if you subscribe, like the video, so I can produce more content like this in the future. Now here are a few clips to show you what it looks like without the texture packs and models compared to what it looks like with these. The texture packs and models contain high resolution textures, there is some improved sprites and decals, high resolution skyboxes, a custom start screen and also some remastered sound effects. Okay, so we begin just by turning the Quest on, getting ourselves inside the menu screen. Once you've done that, connect your Quest to your computer via USB and quickly put the headset on and you'll get this message asking for access to the files on the device. Click Allow and you should see the Quest pop up in your File Explorer. Now we go into the SideQuest Store, choose Lambda 1 VR. Now this is a port or mod made by Dr. Beef. It's a fantastic mod. We're going to first make sure our quest is connected. We can see that it is and the light is green. So we're now good to install the game. We click on install latest. If you like the mod and want to see more like it in future, also seriously consider donating via PayPal, whatever you can spare. So once we hit install, it should come up in the my task list. I've already installed it, but you should see it installing. Once it's downloaded, it will let you know. Now we can't use the actual mod without an actual copy of the game. So I'm going to go to Half-Life in Steam where I have my copy. Now it's important to note that it doesn't work with Half-Life Source, just the original Half-Life. And as of the date of this video, there's a sale on Half-Life. You can get it for a couple of dollars. So I right click on Half-Life, I go into Manage and then Browse Local Files. This will open up the contents of the game. I then go back into the Quest via my File Explorer and I create a new folder. I name that folder Zash or XASH. I go back to the contents of my Half Life folder, copy the entire Valve folder, go back into my Quest, go into the Zash folder, and paste the Valve folder into here. Now, this can take anywhere up to 40 minutes to fully transfer onto your Oculus Quest. Once fully transferred, disconnect your Quest, restart it. Now we want to run the game at least once before installing these new HD textures and models. We can run the game just until the beginning of the tram section before quitting out. Now going to unknown sources. If you don't see unknown sources, you have to set your quest to developer mode. You can do that in the settings on your Oculus phone app. It'll ask for your permission, allow. And now you have Half-Life on your quest. Now you can see that it's the bog standard version of Half-Life without the HD textures or models or sounds. Now you have run the game at least once, we can now begin installing the HD textures and models. So first install the HD textures pack. I've included a link to the textures pack in the uh, description below. You download the texture pack via Google Drive. Now it's too big to scan for viruses, but it's completely safe. So download the HD texture pack. Once downloaded, we unzip the pack. Then click on the entire Half-Life Gold HD folder, copy that. Go back into our Oculus Quest, back into the Zash folder. Then we just paste the entire HL Gold HD texture pack into this folder. This again can take about 40 minutes. Next, I'll go back to the Half-Life textures pack that I just unzipped. And we see there's a command line file. You want your command line file to look exactly like this. You can copy this text from the description below. I got it from a Reddit page. You can find linked in the SideQuest store, originally posted by VR Bumza, who lays out all of these instructions. But I've included the text in the description below just for convenience. And so copy and paste that text into that command line file and save it then copy the entire command line file go back into your quest 
go into the dash folder and you'll see a command line file in there already you just need to paste the new version it will ask if you want to overwrite the existing one so just click yes and so the command line file in the Zash folder should now look like this. Now our next step, we go back to our Half-Life game. We open up the game folder. And click into the Valve HD folder. And you see we have three separate folders, Sounds, Models and Sprites. Now if you go into the Zash Valve folder on your Quest, you should see it already contains folders, Sprites, Sounds and Models. Now we're going to copy this Valve HD Sound and Sprites folders only. Now we select the Sound and Sprites folders. We copy them into the Zash Valve folder. It'll ask if you want to overwrite. Just click Yes. And you'll see we haven't transferred the Models folder over yet. And that's because if I transfer all of the models, this might affect the performance of the game. And it's recommended that only the Barney and Scientist models are transferred over, as copying the whole models folder can create some performance issues. To transfer models, open the models folder in the Valve HD game directory and open the models folder in your quest. Then, then select the models you want in the game directory, copy and paste them into your quest models directory. However, you can play around with this, transfer some more models if you like, to see if you can strike that perfect balance between decent performance, but also having as many of these HD models as you can. Now we remove the Quest from your PC, restart it, and go into the game again. You can see there's a new title screen image, and we go into configuration, then go into video, then video options. You want to make sure you have the allow material selected, also have the use VBO selected. Begin the game and enjoy your new HD version of Half-Life. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. The time is 8.47 a.m. <laughs> 